BTS, 르세라핌, 세븐틴, 지코, and 뉴진스. They have one thing in common. They're all in Hive, South Korea Entertainment Company. So how did Hive become such a successful company? To put it simply, it was all thanks to this person, Bang Shi Hyuk. Until the early 2000s, they were three major entertainment agencies in South Korea. SM Entertainment, which had Girls' Generation, EXO, and ESPA, YG, which had Big Bang, 21, and BLACKPINK, and JYP, which had Wonder Girls and TWICE. These three big agencies dominate the K-pop scene. But one day, in 1997, JYP CEO Park Jin-young made a phone call to someone. Hey, Shiok, I listened to your song and it was so great. So I was wondering if you want to work for our company? JYP CEO Park Jin-young offered to scout a composer named Bang si who was not very famous at that time. And that's how Bang si who founded Hype, career as a composer began. He worked as a composer for JYP from 1997 to 2005 and produced various hit songs. One of them was 총맞은 것처럼. But he wanted something more. So in 2005, Bang Xiok left JYP and founded his own company. That was Big Hit Entertainment, the company that created BTS. And in 2007, Big Hit Entertainment's first artist show, it was not an idol group, but a ballad group called 8. And then in 2012, Big Hit Entertainment debuted a girl group called Glam. But unfortunately, they did not receive much attention. However, in 2013, Bang Xiok finally debuted BTS. But at that time, BTS was not that popular because Big Hit Entertainment was not a big agency back then. So BTS had to start from the bottom. Also, they were called Bangtan Sonyeondan, not BTS back then, which just was a bit old fashioned name. So they did not have much popularity. But then in 2015, a song that made BTS an instant K-pop star in Korea came out. It was I Need You. I need you this song is that made BTS what they are today. <laughs> With I Need You, BTS won first place on M Countdown, a music show in Korea. That was the first time. And that moment and backstage, BTS member Jimin cried with happiness. But their explosive popularity was just beginning. In October 2016, BTS released their second full album, Wings. The title track was Blood, Sweet and Tears. Blood, Sweet and Tears reached 10 million views on YouTube in just 40 hours. It was the shortest time for a K-pop boy group to reach 10 million views. And they topped almost all of the music chart in South Korea. That was an amazing achievement. Of course, it didn't end there. Not long after, in 2017, BTS became the first K-pop group to debut their song in the US. And the song they performed was DNA. In 2017, Big Hit Entertainment's operating profit surpassed the three major agencies in South Korea, thanks to BTS. Of course, they had some crisis too. Their long-awaited world tour concert was cancelled in 2020 because of the coronavirus pandemic. But they made up for that disappointment with another super song. In August 2020, Dynamite. Dynamite was the first song by a Korean artist to top the Billboard Hot 100 chart. And it even got nominated for a Grammy Award. And in March 2021, Big Hit Entertainment changed its name to Hype. It expressed its ambition to expand into new areas. Maybe that's why in April 2021, Hype acquired Itika Holdings, a US entertainment agency that had Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande. And then the next month, BTS released Butter. And then in 2022, Hive debuted a new girl group. In May, it was Le Serapim. In July, it was New Jeans. And from December 2022, BTS Jin went to the army first, and we won't be able to see the complete BTS for a while. But we can still look forward to their solo activities. And now in 2023, Bang Xiaox Hive is proudly one of the four major entertainment agencies in South Korea. Thank you!